Zara and Mike Tyndall's real reason for missing King's birthday parade. Zara Tyndall and her husband Mike Tyndall were not pictured at the Trooping the Color Parade, which marked King Charles's official birthday, but they had a valid reason for missing the event despite Princess Kate making her first appearance of the year at the Trooping the Color, a celebration for the King's birthday parade, Gloucestershire's own Zara and Mike Tyndall were conspicuously absent. However, it seems they had a good reason. Welcome. If you're new here please do not forget to subscribe, like and hit the notification bell to remain updated. The 2024 Trooping the Color took place at 11am on Saturday, June 15, coinciding with P.N.K.'s performance at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in London. So what? We hear you muse. If you're scratching your head, asking just give me a reason why Zara and Mike opted out of getting the party started with King Charles, it's because they were busy toasting to the American singer during her sold-out UK tour. Hello! Reports that Zara Tyndall and former Gloucester rugby pro, Mike Tyndall, enjoyed a special date night at the concert over the weekend, explaining their absence from royal family photos, reports Gloucestershire Live. Mike posted pictures on his Instagram account of the crowds eagerly awaiting the singer's arrival, revealing they were having a great time in the exclusive The Green Room. While it doesn't appear that they brought along their three children, Mia, 10, Lena, 5 and 3-year-old Lucas, the glamorous couple also attended a special screening of tennis star Roger Federer's documentary at Leicester Square two days prior. Mike Tyndall breaks silence on whether he's moving to Australia with Zara and the children. It has long been rumored that Mike and Zara Tyndall have had their eyes on making a permanent trip down under. Mike Tyndall has finally spilt the beans on whether he and wife Zara will be relocating to Australia for good. Welcome. If you're new here please do not forget to subscribe, like and hit the notification bell to remain updated. It has long been speculated that the royal couple could actually make the move down under as it's where they first met and a place they consider their second home. But according to Mike, no such plans are on the horizon as the country is so far away. He told Hello Magazine, we go to Australia every year for the Magic Millions racing event, and we try to get back to have lunch at the place where we met whenever we can. We love Sydney and have loads of friends there, so it's been an important city in our lives. Everyone keeps telling us we're moving there but we're not. It's so far away, especially when you have a big family. The former England rugby union star also spoke about his family life and revealed he and Zara are quite the normal parents. The couple share three children together, Mia, 10, Lena, 5, and Lucas, 3. Mike revealed, we're no different to other parents and our weekends end up being about the kids and getting them to their sports. It's a mixture of rugby, hockey, swimming, gymnastics. I think sport gives so many things to kids, whether it's learning how to be a team member or determination. It has given Zara and me so much that we want to expose them to as many sports as we can. He also clarified that he hasn't learned how to ride following his equestrian wife's footsteps as he would probably be a tough student. Thanks for watching till the end.